We begin tonight in Brooks County, where a group of Central American women showed up in the hopes of finding their missing loved ones, family members who disappeared as they tried to make their way to the U.S. Yeah, they're also working to put the spotlight on the plight of all migrants. Our Michael Gibson has more on this first stop in their cross-country tour happening today in Falfurias. These women are from places like Guatemala and Honduras, each holding a photo of their loved one who has not been heard from in some 10 years. Some of these missing migrants are believed to have disappeared right here in Brooks County. The family members of the missing migrants showed up here to the South Texas Human Rights Center. Their simple plea, find our relatives. That chant, translated into English, basically says they will search east, west, north, and south to find their missing family member. Karen Morales is from Honduras and hasn't seen her brother since 2012, as he was about to cross into the U.S. near Laredo. We are hoping him to help us with a DNA so we can find our families. We hope not to find them like dead or something. We're looking to find them alive. And, and I thank the sheriff and all the people here that are helping us. Brooks County Sheriff Benny Martinez says the first thing he's going to do is offer the women a chance to look through the photos of his Book of the Dead collection. These folders contain the Sheriff's Department's documentation of the bodies it's found here in Brooks County since 2009. He's also ready to get the women into a DNA system to see if a match can be found. A lot of it has to do with what they can do, you know, them providing their, their DNA, and that's what we're going to do for them, and then submit. Those who put this trip together are also hoping to meet up with several congressmen in Washington, D.C. in the next week. They're hoping to get them to change foreign policy, which they blame for causing the huge number of migrants who are coming to our country. In Honduras, there is uh, the, the brother of the president who is in a jail in New York. And during that trial, the name of the president of Honduras was mentioned. But the, the U.S. government continues sending money to Honduras. How is this country dealing with the humanitarian crisis of one, people dying and people mi missing? So we need to publicize, we need to, we need to get that information out to the public. These women say they plan on coming back each and every year. They want to help bring attention to the plight of migrants, as well as continuing the search for their missing family members. From Brooks County, Michael Gibson, 3 News.